Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial of Heather by Con and Gray on guitar. So for this song, you're going to need a capo on the 5th fret and it's going to be in standard tuning. If you guys don't know what standard tuning is or if you need um, help tuning your guitar in general, I made a video on how to tune your guitar and I'll have that linked in the description box below. So before we get into all the chords, I'm going to be numbering the strings 1 to 6. 1 being the thinnest string here, and 6 being the thickest string. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this song is pretty beginner friendly because he only uses 5 different chords throughout the whole song. So he strums these 5 chords and he just repeats them throughout the verse, the pre-chorus, the chorus, and the bridge. So the 5 chords that he uses throughout the whole entire song are C, E minor, A minor, F, and F minor. So we're going to first go over the chords individually and then we're going to go into the strumming patterns. So the first chord that we're going to learn is the C major chord. So for the C chord, it's going to sound like this strummed. So you're going to need to press the first fret on the second string, the second fret on the fourth string, and then the third fret on the fifth string. So you're just going to have fingers pressed down on the 2nd string, 4th string, and the 5th string. So every other string is going to be open. And by open, I mean there's going to be no fingers pressed down. And then you're going to strum and it should sound like this. The next chord that we're going to learn is the E minor chord. And E minor sounds like this. So for E minor, you're just going to need to press the 2nd fret on the 4th string. And then the 2nd fret on the 5th string and every other string is going to be open. And then strummed E minor should sound like this. The next chord that we're going to learn is A minor. So for A minor, you're going to need to press the first fret on the second string, second fret on the third string, and then the second fret on the fourth string. And every other string is going to be open. So strummed A minor should sound like this. So the next chord that we're going to learn is the F chord. So for the F, you're going to need to press the 1st fret on the 2nd string, 2nd fret on the 3rd string, 3rd fret on the 4th string, and then the 3rd fret on the 5th string. You're going to need to press the 1st fret on the 6th string with your thumb here. So make sure you have the right fingers pressed down on the right frets before moving on. The F chord strummed should sound like this. The next chord is the F minor chord. So for the F minor chord, you're going to need to press the 1st fret on the 2nd string, the 1st fret on the 3rd string, the 3rd fret on the 4th string, 3rd fret on the 5th string, and then the 1st fret on the 6th string. So as you can see, the thumb stays the same, and then the pinky and the ring finger stays the same from the F chord. So this is what F minor should sound like strummed. And then this is the F strummed. So I think the easiest way to practice this is just practice going from F to F minor, F minor back to F. So going from F to F minor. So those are all the chords that you need for this song, and now let's get into the strumming pattern. And for this song, because of the vibe and everything, I suggest that you don't use a pick for this one, because it just sounds a little bit too harsh for the tone of the song. Even using your nails is a little bit too much, that's still a lot better than using the pick. So this is what it sounds like if you use your nails. But in his song, all of his chords sound a little bit softer. To get that soft chord sound, all you have to do is strum with the side of your thumb. It's going to sound a little bit soft at first, but once you practice a little bit, it gives you the perfect sound that you need. So going back to the strumming pattern of this song, it's going to be down, up, 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 down, up. So down, up, down, up is one time through. So for the C, E minor, and A minor, you're going to be doing the down, up, down, up four times each. So I'm going to be starting with the C, down, up, 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 and 
then you switch to E minor and do that four times. And then you switch to A minor and do that four times. And for F and F minor, you do the strumming pattern two times each instead of four times. So if we start with F, So now I'm going to be putting like the whole sequence together, starting with C. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. This was a highly requested song. And honestly, I think it's super easy to learn because there's only five chords in the whole entire song. I would love to see you guys play the song. So if you guys post on Instagram or anything like that, please tag me so I can see it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys for the next video.